Beneath the waves, rivers run. Where water turns saltier or colder, it grows heavy, slips downhill, and follows the seabed like a vein. Invisible to us, they carve channels, build banks, even make rapids. At the Bosphorus, a dense tongue from the Mediterranean winds into the Black Sea through a submarine canyon, meanders, floodplains, the works. If it flowed on land, it would rank among Earth's great rivers. In the Gulf of Mexico, ROVs find brine lakes, so salty they're almost syrup. Their edges spill and pour downslope as shining streams and waterfalls. And far north, under the Denmark Strait, the tallest waterfall on the planet hides in the dark, where cold Arctic water plunges beneath warmer Atlantic, dropping more than three kilometers. We're telling it in gentle words for younger explorers, but the science is true. These underwater rivers carry sand, oxygen, and nutrients, reshaping the deep and feeding life. They sketch a slow global loop, the thermohaline conveyor, that takes centuries to circle the world. Where waters meet, haloclines shimmer like heat over a road. Cameras see shorelines, waves, the sea wearing a second sea. The map isn't ink, it's weight and salt and temperature, writing paths we're only beginning to read. If these hidden streams woke your wonder, come trace the current with us, chronicles of the curious earth.